do today is um, talk you through some quick and easy ways to make your bike more comfortable, whether that's a road bike or a gravel bike like my Marin. Um, this bike is already pretty comfy, but there's some adjustments that I'm gonna make because some of the races that I'll be doing will be, um, well, super long, I mean, eight hours or multi-day. So there are a few tricks that I've got and I wanna share them with you. <coughs> So, the first thing to look at if you're trying to make your bike comfortable is it's just got to be the tyres. Um, I'm not actually going to change my tyres because I'm really happy with these WTB Nanos. These are 40C wide, so um, that's pretty decent for a gravel bike. Obviously, that would be huge for a road bike. But gone are the days when you want to be riding a road bike on 23C tyres. Everyone used to think that these narrow little tyres pumped up to 120 PSI were the way to go fast. We now know that actually it isn't faster and that having wider tyres with a little bit less pressure not only feels more comfortable, but it's actually quicker. Think of it this way, if you're riding on a road surface which has these tiny micro little imperfections and you've got a very hard tire, it actually skips over them all like that and it bounces. Whereas if there's a little less pressure, it actually rolls more smoothly and that in turn translates into more speed. It took me a while to reconcile myself with this. Um, I really was one of the people who just definitely wanted to stick with 120 PSI, but believe me, it, it isn't quicker, it isn't, and I have now seen the light. I tend to ride at 80 PSI on my road bike, and I also ride a 28C tyre, so that gives me a bit of extra comfort. On my gravel bike, well, it depends on the terrain. I've got 40C tyres, and um, the amount of air that I put on, could in, on, the amount of air I put in them, uh, well, about 30 PSI? I mean, it really depends. Tip number two for making your bike more comfortable has got to be the saddle. And I am going to change the saddle and put a different one on this bike. I've got this specialised Phenom that I rode in Tuscany Trail last year and that was um, three and a half days of very, very bumpy riding. And um, I think one day we were riding for nine hours. This worked really, really well, so I'm gonna put this on my Marin now. Um, just quickly, a word about why the saddle is so important. It's not actually just so that your bum doesn't hurt. The saddle will dampen any vibrations that are transmitted through the frame. So um, it's a really, really vital piece of equipment to get right. I'll tell you what, I hate putting on saddles. It's one of the most annoying things to do, apart from undoing stem bolts. Um, there's just always something irritating about the way it goes on and I can never do it quickly. But um, if it takes too long, I'm gonna fast forward it. <laughs> quickly but I'm missing part of the seat post clamp so hold on a minute let me go and see if I can find it oh god I bet I can't find it wonderful I can't find it and Dave's not here so I can't even ask him uh, the only solution is to put a different seat post in this is not the video I was supposed to be making this is meant to be quick tips sorry but I'm just gonna put this seat post in this saddle in Jesus, this seat post is so long. This should be called Terribly Unprepared Bad Bike Mechanics with Juliet Elliott. Oh my God, it's so stuck. Great, I'm now coming in carbo grip, wonderful. Let's see if this fits. this really quickly Dave's gone to pick up our daughter from nursery kind of wanted to have all this finished by the time he got back I'm so not gonna be Mommy? hello I got something for you what have you got for me oh thank you look what I've got oh my goodness two two isn't the other one for you where's your one <laughs> look what I've got Greg's vegan sausage roll! I wanted to yum, 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 yum,
Now in the middle of eating a vegan sausage roll and trying to make a video. Anyway, the new saddle is on and also I have the nice fancy zip seat post on there, so that's cool. What are you doing? I'm making a video. Where? There. I think I'll have a sausage roll break and then we'll carry on. Are you dancing? Because I like sausage rolls. The next thing I'm going to do is put on some really, really, really plush bar tape. Um, obviously, riding off road, you get a lot of vibrations through the frame and through the bars. Um, so I, I bought the best bar tape I could find. Well, I bought my favourite bar tape. Um, it was really, really expensive. 30, 32 quid or something, which is just kind of insane. But I really like this stuff. I did get a free bike, so if I can't even... Spend on some bar tape, well, you know, it's kind of silly. Dave's had the same bar tape on his bike for about six years, so whatever, it should last a long time, unless I get the new bike or something, but I guess I'll keep the bars so I can keep the tape. Putting on new comfy bar tape has such a huge effect on the ride feel. I mean, seriously, it's a quite a small investment for quite a big return, and I think a lot of people just stick with the rubbish bar tape that they get when their bike's delivered, which is just the cheapest of the cheap quite often. So I'd fully recommend that you invest in something good. It's, it's really worth, worth, worth it. So I'm gonna put this on. Before I start taping the bars, there is another thing that I wanted to tell you that really, really helps with uh, comfort on your bike. It's the position of your hoods. So I want a bit more to hold on to down here when I'm in the drops, but I still need the hoods to be super comfy when I'm just, you know, going for a long, long time on, the, on my bike. So what I'm going to do is I am going to tilt the bars down a little bit, but then I'm going to move the hoods back up so they are comfortably on the top and well within reach. Um, obviously, you can start changing your stem length and height and all that sort of thing as well. That plays a big part in your comfort. But the hacks that I'm doing here are things that you would do if you've already got your bike fit dialed, pretty much. So um, moving the hoods around is just a simple thing to do, as is changing the bar tape, changing the saddle and having wider tyres. <laughs> Time for the bar tape. I don't want to mess this up. It is lovely. Lovely. Lovely, lovely tape. I have an assistant. Well, it's the opposite of assisting. I have a a hinderer. No, I'll show you. <laughs> Every time I loop it around. Anyway. I'm not going to lie, those quick fixes took me absolutely ages. I spent at least half an hour on the bar tape and that is some clumsy ass bar taping. But it still looks nice because it's just lovely bar tape. So that's it for my ride for now. Um, those simple things will just make it feel completely different and I'm looking forward to trying it out like that. I've also got another cool thing that I want to try, I'll show you. I'm going to put that on my bike. Here, do you want a closer look? I'm going to put this on and I'm going to see what difference that makes. Whether I like it or not, I don't know. Maybe it'll be too soggy and I won't be able to pedal well on climbs, but I'm pretty sure it'll feel nice on the downhills. It's just trying to get the right balance. Um, but I'm going to leave the bike like this for now, go for a ride on it like that, then I'll play around like this and then I'll really know what the difference is. Um, anyway, hope you found those tips helpful, let me know if there's anything else that you've done to your bike that's made a really really big difference. Um, let me know if you want to know more about this seat post. I've also got a few other things I'm going to try out over, over the next few weeks, um, so more on that later. But for now, happy Friday and goodbye!